folks, um, carrying on from my uh, show and tell on painting uh, horses the other day, I thought I'd take this a bit further with one of the figures. This is um, a Perry Miniatures Napoleonic, it's French General Fournier Salavez. Uh, apparently a bit of a problem child, <laughs> but uh, it's a very popular figure. Um, People seem to like this, so let's. I'll show you what I do next. So, I have my uh, space visor hood on with a uh, magnifier. I use. Uh, I wear glasses for painting. I wear glasses because I'm old. Yeah, that's not very nice. Uh, paint, shake that up a bit. Let's get an old one. I've got the old Bellagio here. That might be a bit better. Um, and what I'm using. You can see there I'm using 7801 brass, but I like that for a gold. Um, works well for me. Yeah, that's come out a lot better. See the difference in the pots, the difference in the colour, and it shows. Yeah, that's the new one, that's the old one. Totally different colours. It is a bit, uh, bit annoying. Tad annoying, as they say. Right, so I've got the, the horse has been done in uh, the ink. Marion brown ink and the figures had the brown wash now um, sometimes I do the uh, go for the, the face um, hands I don't have to worry about because they'll, they'll have gloves on uh, but I like to go for the gold so let's have a little play around it there in the gold and show you what I'm doing so we'll go on the breeches we've got gold there this is all new for me so I'm hoping it works what can I see? You guys see something? Yeah, you can see something. Yeah. Trying to set up cameras and camera angles. Doesn't matter too much if it goes over. You don't need to go over. But yeah, that's working there. And we've got all this side as well. Um, I mean, I could have done the breeches first, which are a red. And for red, I use a, a brown undercoat as well. So that's why this works really well. So we've got a brown undercoat for the gold and a brown undercoat for red, or pre-coat. Um, this is on top of a basic white spray. Yep, that's working well. So that's that's me trousers. Um, now I think Paul has a gold stripe down there. Oh, lovely! Nice shaky hand. That's not have a shaky hand. So dab, 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 dabby, dabby, dab. On the uh, breeches with the hoop at the back, if I can get at that. God, they like to make it easy. Don't they, the berries? Uh, what's it got? Oh, well, he's got a nice gold, nice goldy sash. Oh, more gold. Uh, hands are a bit shaky. Must be old age. This is not the alcohol, because I haven't had much today. I mean, any today. <coughs> he said <laughs> mind you it'll soon be drinky time it's the weekend it's Sunday afternoon what more could one want I shan't be driving anywhere I've moved the car and put the bins out for tomorrow so no reason why one can't partake of a wee dram a wee tipple Mine's, uh, mine's brandy and coke. I know, very chavish, but that's what I like. Sometimes it's brandy and ginger ale, but it's usually brandy and coke. And none of this fake coke, proper coke, you know, full sugar. Rot your teeth, rot your stomach type coke. Uh, so, now we've done a bit of the, the belt. Sorry, listen to me, belt. The sash, and we've got a bit here underneath. Da, da, do, do, do. Yeah. There we go. I'm using, if it shows up, I'm using a major brush, a double O. And they're nothing special, but uh, I'm not a brush, brush snob. I think, as VK was saying, he's not a brush snob either. And I actually like these brushes. Um, I'm not going to worry about the. Um, scabbard at the moment because I'm going to have to get in to get the red 
So if I put gold on the scabbard, I'm just going to get red all over it. God, look at my hand. Jesus, honestly, I haven't been on the gin. I haven't got a bit on the trousers there, a bit on the breeches. We'll just smooth that down. Yeah, there. And again, I need to get in there, but I think I'll leave that because I want to put a bit of red in. And uh, we've got this. Oh, I could get in here, couldn't I? Now, the straps to hold the scabbard are red edged in gold. So I think what I may do is actually paint these gold and then put a red <laughs> stripe down the middle. That might be easy, an easier way for me. Last time I did it the other way around and it was it was painful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying these. I've tried all sorts of brushes. I've tried the is it uh, Kalinsky sables and all the rest and that. No, no, no. Last. Well, they're not designed for models, are they? For what we do, but they're designed for artists. And we're not artists in that sense, are we? We really just paint by numbers in a sense. We push paint around and put it in the right place, hopefully, or as close as we can to the right place on a model. I suppose if you've got a blank piece of paper in front of you, and that's a, or a blank canvas in front of you, that's a different story. Right, so that's most of that done. Yep, that's uh, done there. You can see that, yeah, around there. Um, bum, 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 bum. What's he got there? Is that gold? Is he got gold on his own? He's got gold there. Yeah. I think I've noticed a little, uh, little problem with the Paris. I've noticed here at the front, they seem to have disappeared um, with the Chabrac the uh, shark's teeth and trim, it just disappears to nothing. Um, it's got it on this side, but not on that side, so I assume that's something they, uh, that's not coming out of the mold, or they didn't even do it, I don't know. I've not seen any pictures, just got a, another pigtail I've got to cut off. So I say, you find them all over with Perry's. Uh, so let's put a bit of gold in here for now, just to do. I think that's what's happened. Um, with no teeth, no shark's teeth at all, or whatever you call it. I know it's not shark's teeth on this, is it? But now I need to get a bit up here. My oh, blooming hands, shaking like a I don't know what. Bit there. Now is that going to sh... Uh, I think we've got a bit here as we're going to show up, isn't it, underneath? The uh, trim is red, isn't it, on the... I'm taking this from the uh, Francesco Dow one that he did for the Perry, so... I might as well copy that, it looks a good... A good figure, a good job he did on that. Francesco always does a good job, doesn't he? Yeah. Putting the gold here because there's no red anywhere near. After telling you I wouldn't be painting the scabbard, but I'll leave the top of the scabbard. Um, now what have we got now? We've got the pelisse and we've got the sleeves, and the fur is a brown fur. But I usually the wash is good enough once I stain it. But uh, you normally get bits of paint on it, so. I normally go over that again, so we'll add a bit on the sleeves. So at the moment it has a very brassy look, obviously because it's brass I'm using. But uh, once I stain it down, it, well to me, will look very goldy, not too bright. And it'll look just right. Bit on there. I hope you can 
seals. I'm not pulling it back too far. I'm probably out of camera, but there you go. This is all practice for me. One needs to practice. Now we've got all the gold work at the front, and then we've got the gold uh, what lanyard that's holding the pulleys on. So it's virtually gold, golden, more gold, isn't it? Straighten the brush again with that. I wonder over the years how many gallons of paint have us painters eat, drink, when straightening our brushes out. Don't tell me you don't do it, because most people must. They, they can straighten out between their, in their mouth. I know it shouldn't, but... There it is, gold and gold. There is probably not, not showing up much with brown and gold, but it's a perfect... Uh, it's a perfect undercoat. And we've got the sash in there as well. There's actually so much gold on this character, as I say, that's why I decided to do the, the gold first. Last time I painted one. Let's put him down there. It doesn't matter because the the tunic top, the dolman will cover, and we've got red sleeves. I think cuffs haven't we on the sleeve? Yeah, and we've got a border of trim there. So we'll do that underneath. Yeah, that's that sleeve done. And a bit more around here. So that's that one. Magnifying glass. Um, the collar is, is red with gold trim, so I think I may have to leave the, the collar at the moment. Uh, what else we got? We've got, a, we've got a gold rosette device on the top of the shako underneath the uh, national rosette, so we'll do that. No, it's a red shako, isn't it? We've got a gold border at the top of the shako, so that can be gold. And that's black on top. So again, if we go over it, it doesn't matter because it's going to have black paint on it. And then we've got a gold clasp holding the plume so I might as well just splash splash the gold about uh, to hold the plume again that's going to be undercoated probably grey or brown for the white white plume now uh, chin scales you can have the chin strap scales on they're gold this guy likes his gold More there. There, gold there. I say I'll leave the collar because I've got to do the red first, I think, and then finish with gold. Um, and that's the front of the dolman. Oh, we've got the back of the dolman here, haven't we? And then we'll have a thin bit of red, so I'm I may have to go over that gold again. We've got a little bit of gold here, which is a real pain to get to. Um, police, uh, we got the rows of buttons here this side. And braid, gold braid. <coughs> Excuse me. This is basically brown and gold at the moment, isn't it? Brown and gold and brown and gold. And we'll have now this sleeve done. It's sword arm. And it's got a basket hilt on the sword, so I'm gonna splash the gold all over that. And then, um, then I'll paint in the glove. Gloved hand once the gold is dry. I think it's an easier way. Well, it's an easy way for me. Bit of gold there. Let 
mean, in the, the old days, I suppose you couldn't really do this because the gold, if you're using a humble or an, an enamel paint, you know, there's no way to cover a, an enamel with ordinary paints. Well, that's what I used to find. But with acrylics, the uh, the metallics do seem to cover quite well. Very pleasing. Not not a problem. You know, as long as they're well dry, you don't get that gold or silver spread then within your paint. That's covered there, all the bits. And that's most of it done now, I'm thinking. Police done, everything at the back of the jacket. Um, back of the, sorry, the police, there's some gold, isn't there? So let's put a couple of strokes of gold there and a couple of bits of gold in there. It's there, but it's sort of all creased up. I've got to paint the jacket. Um, uh, sorry, the jacket is me, the police. Um, a green, dark green colour. I think we are then virtually done on the gold, on the clothing. Uh, police there on the sleeve. I could probably have a bit on the back of this, on the underside of the uh, other sleeve of the police. Yeah. So let's put that there. And then we're going to go around the shabrac because we've got gold here. We're just about done. I know the boots are to be done, but I'm going to leave the boots. And again, I'm not being ever so neat with the gold. I know that's lazy, but it's the first coat, so other things will be painted in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Frog in throat. I think we are virtually done. What's the bottom of the. Is the bottom of the shako? Gold. Uh, but I could do a gold. I'll have a look at that. Lad. There might be a gold band at the bottom of the shaker. I'm not sure if it will against the hairline, but he is done at the moment. So horse is finished. Um, rider has got has got his gold on. Um, other than the, some of the scabbard, because I want to get into the red, and that's why I haven't done the breeches gold here at the top because of the getting the red in I say I found last time I painted one painted all the gold in and then had to go over to get the red in and then repaint the gold so it seemed a bit pointless I touch up I'm just doing the odd touch ups but uh, yeah there we are doesn't look much at the moment I'll, uh, I'll do it and then I'll get a wash on it and uh, and we'll see the difference I think okay a lot. I um, hope that's useful to somebody and uh, show you how I do my bits. Uh, thanks a lot and bye for now. <laughs>